and share it with me. So first I'm going to go to google.com and I'll go up in the top right where it says sign in. Since I don't have a Google account yet, I'll go in the top right again to where it says sign up. I'm going to create a, an account. Of course, you're going to put your own information in there. Got to make sure this is something that exists. Of course, you're going to want to make sure that you have something that you will remember. Create a password. Create a password that matches. Put your birthday in there. This is definitely not my birthday. Don't worry about putting your mobile phone number in. Don't worry about putting your Google current email address in. Prove you're not a robot by putting in the appropriate code. You need to agree. And you can unselect, deselect this. Google may use my account information to personalize plus ones. You can undo that since you may not be using it for that purpose. Oh, characters didn't match. Down in here, 103. E G O N I. Let's try that. These things can be weird. If you get stuck on it, you can always do the audio recording instead. Makes it a little bit better. So now I've got sample student 203 stevens at gmail.com. Please, for your sake, pick something that's smaller, easier to remember. Unless you already have one, then you hopefully skip this entire step. So I've created my account, and I'm going to go up to the top left where it says Google. I'm going to change it to drive.google.com. And in here, you already already have a Google Drive account. It's a bunch of opportunities for you to create and submit work. So if you've never used Google Drive before, we're going to be using it pretty much the entire year to submit and show your work. So over here in the top left, I'm going to go to where it says Create. And... What I'll be doing is creating a folder I promise there we go create a folder and the way that we're going to do this is you're gonna put your period number so all I would do say I'm in first period I'll put one and I'll put my last name dot my first name and then press create understand why I'm doing this the one lets me sort all of my students by first period and then after it sorts by first period it will then sort by your last name then your first name making it easy for me to go through find and grade any assessments that we do so we'll create so I have this folder that I've created what I can do is I can go to this drop down arrow and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to share so I'll go to share and share again and I'm just hovering over top of that clicking where it says share and you're going to change the share settings to where anyone with the link can we will say can view for right now. We may change that a little bit later. So we'll press save. And you're going to invite people. This is one of the most important parts. You are going to invite stevens009 at gmail.com. This is my email account that is tied to 
my Google Drive folder, making it easy for me to take a look at what you have. And you want to make sure that you change that from can edit to can view. I don't want to be responsible for losing anything or saying that you didn't have something turned in. So you're going to change, you're going to invite stevens009 at gmail.com and you're going to change it to that I can view that folder. From there, I will make sure I've notified that person via email. I should get a lot of emails coming up. And I will share and save. Ooh. Yeah. Sharing of the folder. Uh, I think I got it figured out. Just have to wait a little while before it goes, possibly even create a document just so that Google knows that you're not a spammer. So I created a test document, went back in, and you can select the box here. I'm going to share this folder. I go up to the top where it's got the person with a plus. And I'm going to invite stevens009 at gmail.com. And I don't want to edit anything. All I want to be able to do is view your files. And from here, you're going to share and save. And there we go. We have a shared folder within Google Drive, I'll be able to see an email pop up right away saying the student has shared this folder with you. Let me know if you have any problems at all, and I'll be more than happy to help out. Welcome aboard.